Hi there, welcome to another episode of PaloClimb.com. In today's video you are going to see how can you extend the flap on the Boeing 737 during your approach, okay? You will see what an airline pilot checks check during the approach and what it sees or she sees during the uh, approach when extending the flaps, okay? I made a video about this uh, during the takeoff, so I'll, I'll show you how and what you should check when you take off before attracting the flaps. In today's video, we're gonna do the same things, but to extend the flaps of the approach. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1, rotate. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from pilotclimb.com. I help you to become a better pilot. So if this is what you want to do, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want and need any help, whether you are a simmer or a student pilot, go to pilotclimb.com where you can check my services. Okay, so as we said, what and how can you extend the flap on the Boeing 737 like a professional pilot? Okay. I've been flying the Boeing 737 for more than 10 years, so I've done few approaches, and during the approach, it's always the same, okay? So guys, the first and most important thing that we need to understand is that the aircraft has got a flap maneuvering speed. What it is, the flap maneuvering speed, guys, is the, indicated by this green information, the airspeed indication, this up in there. So this is the up, what does it mean? As you can see, we've got flaps up, that means that the, this speed is the minimum speed at which we can fly with flaps up. We can fly faster, no problem. In fact, now we're flying at 210 knots, but we cannot fly, fly below that with, with flap up. If you want to fly below the up speed, the maneuvering speed for flap up, you need to select flap one, okay? So guys, it is very important. So when you are approaching, what will happen is that you have flown on your cruise, okay, with flap up, of course, I hope, okay, and then once you get closer to the airport, you will start to extend the flaps. Like in this case, for example, as you can see in here, guys, we've got runway to zero, okay, so it's Alguero, let's say we are going over David, we join the Odin to fly the approach and land in, uh, in Alguero, okay, so what will happen, guys, is that in order to reduce the speed to the landing speed, okay, we are not going to fly the approach, but we're gonna extend the flaps in a second to see how it works, okay? So in order to reduce the speed for uh, the approach speed for the landing, we need to extend the flaps. When we extend the flap, when we approach the maneuvering speed. So let's say now we've got flaps up, guys, and we have, we have the up speed. So we can decelerate all the way down to the up speed. So I put the magenta indication there. So that is our minimum maneuvering speed for flap up. So since we've got the flaps up, we cannot fly below the 192 knots, as you can see in there on the magenta indication, okay? But I need to de decelerate because look at this, guys. If I want to set the flaps for landing, the, the speed to set flap there is 175, okay? Is the speed at which, the maximum speed at which I can set flap, uh, flap 30. Okay, so I need to be slower than 175 knots for flap lady. Okay, so but now I'm 193. How do I do that? I simply select and I go for flap up to flap one. Why is that? Because when you extend the flaps, you increase the coefficient to lift of the wing. Thus, your stall speed decreases. Okay, so that means that you can fly uh, slower. Okay, so let's do it. Now I said flap one. So look at this flap one. We've got the lever to one. The flap is going to one in there, it's extending to one. It takes a little bit of minutes, uh, sorry, of time, okay? So look, now we've got flap one, the green light is in there. And if you look at your speed indication in here, now we've got the one. What does it mean is that the one is the minimum maneuvering speed for flap one. So now we can actually decelerate to the flap one maneuvering speed. Because, which, sorry, why? Because we've got the flap one set. Okay, so now we decelerate, and if we set the next uh, flap setting, okay, look at this, the next flap setting, guys, for the Boeing 737, we've got flap 1 and flap 2, flap 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, and 40. So the next flap setting is flaps 2, so if I set flaps 2, you will see that in the airspeed indicator, you're going to have the 2 in there, indicating the minimum maneuvering speed for flap 2. I go, here we go, so now I set flap 2, flap the lever is on flap 2, flaps are in flap 2, Minimum maneuvering speed for flap 2 is 160 knots, so I go down to 160 knots, you see? So now I'm decelerating the plane, 
okay this is very important to understand guys because we cannot just extend the flap like that okay or we cannot just fly now with flap 2 and go below 140 knots no you cannot because you gonna end stalling the plane because you will approach your stall speed okay that's why we have this minimum maneuvering speed for flap let's go to flap 5 now and as you can see i said the level to 5 the flaps are in 5 and the minimum maneuvering speed for flap 5 is this one okay so i can now decelerate to the flap 5 speed here we go so now flap 5 speed is in there and the aircraft can decelerate okay so the next target is if you want to select gear down flap 15 you simply select gear down and the flap 15 look now we've got flap 15 minimum maneuvering speed so we can decelerate to flap 15 okay so by doing this, by checking your minimum maneuvering speed, this is important because you cannot decelerate through the minimum maneuvering speed, okay? So now we've got flap 15, we've got flap 15 in there, the flap 15 uh, minimum maneuvering speed, and now as you can see guys, we can even set flap 30 or flap 40, because flap 30, maximum speed for flap 30 is 175, and for flap 40 is 162, okay guys? So that's how you do it during your approach so when you're approaching you just check the minimum maneuvering speed you start with the flap up you decelerate the flap up and then you set flap one you decelerate the flap one then you de uh, you set flap five when you decelerate to flap five and so on in that way you make sure that your minimum maneuvering speed is always lower uh, lower than your actual speed okay so in that case you will never get too close to the uh, stall speed for that specific flap setting Okay. So guys, I hope you understood a little bit better how does it work, the flap extension on the approach. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will help you out. Also go to paloclimb.com where you can check, uh, where you can subscribe for free pilot training content. I wish you a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Check, we can set to 7-0, please.